last episode, we made a decision. Whether it's a good one or a bad one, only time will tell. But yes, we sold Paolo Dybala to Real Madrid. I just couldn't say no to 210 million. That was just a ridiculous amount they were willing to pay. But now, we need to make good of the money we've got. We've got about 250 million in the bank, and I still want to make a ton of signings. Possibly a new cam, maybe a new centre-back, definitely a new right-back. So, there is a lot to do. Let's reinvest that to ball the money incredibly well and gear up for the Champions League. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. I think we've had one of the craziest transfer windows in recent history. Haaland to Man City, Lewandowski to Barcelona. It's nuts. And honestly, it's it's hard to keep up. So the best way to do it is with the OneFootball app that'll keep you up to date with every transfer and especially of your favorite club because you can turn on notifications and know exactly when your club has signed a star player. Not just that, the new season has begun. We've got Premier League games left, right and center. La Liga games coming up soon as well like it's tough to handle all this and to keep yourself up to date with all the score lines all the news about your clubs one football is the best place one football is free on both ios and android it's got a very clean ui that's one of the things i absolutely love about it and i think it's a must-have app for any football fan so what you're waiting for links will be in the description download the one football app already this window has been insane millie savage and chesney signed but you guys know the theme of this series it's signing as many players as possible that's what we've been up to and we're gonna continue doing that in this episode But we're gonna have to be quick because well Serie A is about to kick off very soon All right, if you're enjoying this Roma career mode a different vibe a different transfer strategy Keep the support coming in by dropping a like in the video subscribe as well. Let's begin All right a quick refresher on the last episode Well, we won the Italian Super Cup, but we couldn't win the UEFA Super Cup and that kind of confirms We still need to reinvest more of our money into this side maybe three or four players because otherwise, I don't know if we can compete in the Champions League. If Man United can beat us, we certainly need some more reinforcements. Press conference to kick things off. I know realism isn't much of the aim of this save. I think we've kept it pretty realistic in a way. I know we make a lot of signings, but it makes sense with the way we're running this series. But I thought signing Sergei Milinkovic Savage was quite dirty and a little disrespectful. Obviously, Roma and Lazio are each other's greatest rivals. Now, guys, in a way, I do agree with you, but in this Serie A, I don't think the these kind of rivalries mean all that much. We see players moving from Inter to Milan, like Chalonoglu has done. We've seen so many players move from like Juventus to, to, to AC Milan. Borucci is literally gone back and forth between those clubs. It's it's crazy. I don't think the rivalries mean as much in Italy as they do in, of course, England. So especially for players. So I don't think it's that unrealistic. Look at Zlatan. He's played for almost every top Italian club. Next up for that center back role, bring back Rudiger would be amazing. He's quick, aggressive, seems like the right man for the job, and he played for Roma before. Now he's one of the world's best centre-backs. That's what's got me worried. Remember, guys, we can still spend only 70 million on a single player. If there's a way we can get him, then perfect. All right, man, let's see if Rudiger would be possible. I think his value will just be too high. Look at that. He's 87 rated, valued at 66.5 million. Uh, this, this, this just won't be possible unless his contract's expiring or something, and it is! Oh my god! How is that even possible. Rudiger contract expiring in 11 months. Surely we can pull this off now. Oh my god. Yup, yup, yup. 67 to 70 million. It is more than possible that we can sign an 87 Antonio Rudiger back to Roma. This would be a tremendous signing. Come on. And it'll be getting a bit of revenge in Real Madrid for signing Dybala. To be fair, they gave us that money and we took it. And finally, sign Bernardo Silva as he's an experienced player. could also sign Rudiger. Getting that replacement for a of course, Paolo Dybala is not going to be an easy task. We've got Olise in that role right now, but I do want a better player there. Like, Dybala was so key for us. We need to reinforce that with a like-for-like -like player, someone who can cope with the job. Bernardo Silva would just be the dream, but I think you guys know what I'm thinking as well. Bernardo Silva's valuation, yup. He's worth 87 million. His contract isn't expiring. It just wouldn't even be possible. We have the money to sign him, but it just wouldn't be possible. Like, yeah, seven 
70 million is the maximum we can spend and he's not gonna accept it. Man City aren't gonna accept it at all. On the other hand, Martin Erdegaard is giving me more friendly vibes. I think it might just be possible to sign Martin Erdegaard. Nope, even he's worth more than 70 million. That wouldn't be possible. I think we'll need to look at players that are high rated, but like Rudiger's age, maybe then it's a possibility of signing them. Otherwise, it gets super difficult. All right, we'll certainly figure out which camp to sign because big shoes to fill, you know, Paolo Dybala was sensational for us. Later the episode from the last one, it's Sergei Milinkovic Savage. We didn't have the best of episodes, but he got himself a couple of assists and he looked good. All right, boys, in this episode, Serie A begins, which I'm excited for our title defense. But before that, I think we need to get our house in order. I think we need to get the money spent and the signings in. Firstly, I want to target and get done with that Rüdiger signing before anyone else realizes how good of a deal that is. I know you might be thinking, why sign a 29-year-old centre-back? We're going for the Champions League this season, so we need quality now. Besides that, we've got Ibanez and Mancini, two very young centre-backs, so getting a bit of experience is an option. I don't think we can go wrong with that, so let's go ahead and try and sign Antonio Rüdiger. Remember, boys, we've got to be very smart about this. We can only spend 70 million. Okay, so let's start with 60 million. His contract's expiring. Can we get a deal? They're willing to work with 69.3. This is the dream. You know what? I don't want to mess around. What if I encounter with like lesser money and they ask for more? That happens sometimes. I don't want to mess around. I feel like this is a brilliant deal. Let's pay it and just get done with it. 69.3 million for Antonio Rudiger. Let's bring him back to Roma. By the way, what a journey Rudiger has had, you know. At Roma, he was brilliant. At Chelsea, he was even more brilliant. Won the Champions League. Now at Real Madrid, like fair enough. Okay, crucial squad role for Antonio Rudiger. Three-year contract length. Let's make it four. Just protecting ourselves. Perfect. No really laws as per and in terms of contract we'll offer him we'll offer him 200,000 per week a lot less than Real Madrid and that's why I'm wondering whether he'll accept or not but it's still a decent contract and he does accept he was getting overpaid at Real Madrid we've just brought back Antonio Rudiger to Roma okay boys now that's his signing I'm really happy about like his quality all right let's put Rudiger into the team so basically Ibanez or Mancini who is the the worst I think Mancini's worst simply because of the lack is yeah Ibanez Ibanez just has the craziest pay stat. Look at that. He's got 84 pays. So I think Mancini will be the one put on the bench. And we can, of course, put Rudiger into that starting 11. Yo, I want to see how long it's going to take Ibanez to equal Mancini's rating. Let's see. Maybe putting him on like a better development plan will help with that. He's on a stopper plan. Oh, defensive center back gets him a lot faster. Perfect. Let's do that. Plus, he's not happy with his contract. So let's renew that two-year extension. Boom. He's now happy with getting paid 88,000 per week. Now, that's our center back problem sorted we still need to address the camp position as well as the right back position oh boy now i know we addressed bernardo silva that is not happening we also looked at Erdegaard, but there's another player maybe that could work mason mount i know he's good friends with tammy abraham so that's what i'm thinking ah uh, he's worth 77.5 million this would not be possible as well okay what about memphis Depay? i know in real life he's leaving barcelona so it kind of makes you know a bit of realistic sense but he's on his way to juventus i think but at Roma, Memphis Depay. Barca don't want him. Maybe we'll get his career back on track. I like this. He's a much more mature player right now. And it looks like this might be possible. Memphis Depay is valued at 55 million. If we can negotiate this well, it might just be possible. He might be the replacement for Dybala. He's right footed, so it'll be a bit different using him. But I like this. I like the idea of Memphis Depay in that cam spot. Let's do this. We're not paying that release clause simply because we're not allowed to. Okay, we need to be really Really smart with these negotiations, man. So let's start with 54 million for Memphis Depay. What is Barcelona gonna say? Oh, they want 94. They're never gonna agree. They're never gonna agree for 70 million. Oh, let, let's go down to 58 million. We've, we've got to be really smart and shrewd about this. They still want 94. This, this, this is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, I really thought he would be the player we'd go for because it just seemed the most likely. Oh my god, it's uh, it's not happening, boys. They're literally not working with me. 66 million. Let's chuck in a sell-on clause of 20% as well. Please accept it now. They need a little time. Oh boy, this is going to take a bit of time. Xavi's playing hardball. You'd be lucky to get that kind of money for Depay. They still want 94.6 million, man. These guys are negotiating in such a hard manner. We'll have to just negotiate and try even more. Like, well, we'll, we'll, we'll give it another shot. We'll, we'll give it another hard shot. Let's see what happens. 67 is our offer and thick. 
we can't put now a shell on claws why they still want 94 man oh my god oh my god let's let's go with the maximum money we can spend on him memphis the pie 70 million nah it's not working it's not working we just cannot sign him man oh my god this is so tough now i have another option someone who is also left footed just like paolo dibala not quite you know a big name nabil fekir the frenchman could be what we need but will he again be able to fit in that 70 million mark that's what i'm worried about we failed memphis the pie let's now see if nabil fekir would be possible i think this would still be a tremendous shining for that cam spot we can't go wrong with this so let's try let's try 50 50 million is my first off of fakir just to see what they say they, they, they're willing to work with 50 but they want mancini in return so i'm just gonna say get out of here we're not giving you that let's offer 54 million next for nabil fakir they want 79 okay this is at least looking like we can negotiate and bring this down okay let's counter with 58 million but i've never negotiated so much for these players man honestly it's a struggle they're still not willing to come down oh my god uh let's let's offer 63 million for of course nabil fakir and they need a little bit time are you kidding me why is it so tough bro signing a cam has been a nightmare now i'm second guessing my decision to sell paolo dibala you know what i've got a really good idea for the right back position let's get that done before we sign the cam carvajal seems like an insane option like absolutely well since he's 84 rated i think he's gonna be amazing or at least in simulations he's got decent enough pace i think we can sign him under 70 million that is our right back position sorted he's a champions league winner and it also seems like a realistic signing and now that carvajal is hurt he might want to move to a different league and roma is offering him just that maybe i can get away with the swap deal putting in say car stop yeah because why not and chuck in maybe 12 million this the, the total value will be under 70 million but they don't even want car stop wow okay 56 works though let's try and bring it down to say 46 negotiate a little bit but my god why is negotiation so tough right now for me i just don't know why but yeah 50 million works for carvajal and by the way the feki transfer still hasn't gone through we'll have to just negotiate more and bring that down to 70 million somehow okay so i'm thinking let's bring it down to say 65 million to leave us with a bit of negotiation room add in a 15 percent sell-on clause surely that's gonna work well at least they've brought it down to 78.6 okay what about we bring it down to 70 million and chuck in the sell-on clause at 15 percent what are you gonna say now please please they still want 78.7 million these guys man let's keep countering with 70 million editing the sell-on clause to say 20 percent what are y'all gonna say now and finally that works literally the limit at the maximum limit we can sign him for we're pulling this off we're signing nabil fekir to replace paolo dibala in that camp spot and oh boy what a struggle this is all right let's get him crucial squad role for nabil fekir come on now we'll we'll, we'll give him a four-year contract that should work let's offer him 120 000 per week you know it's fine that's a perfect contract he accepts it that's done my god i want to cry i really want to cry what a struggle this was nabil fekir kid unveiled as a roma player i'm so happy i'm so happy we've signed him and of course let's chuck him into the team let's see let's put him in there nabil feke there you go now we're talking all we need now is the right back signing if that can happen quick perfect and it looks like it's happened danny carvajal has accepted his contract it's a done deal we've got our right back as well what a transfer window that is i think now i'm happy with all the signings sorry chili you're gonna be put on the bench but don't be too mad we're gonna then put in Danny Carvajal into the starting 11 and I quite like this team we're ready for this season ahead I think last season our team was heavily focused around Dybala now there's more balance we've got Rudiger at the back Millie Savage in midfield Fekir coming in I'm ready for this season we're gonna start the season against Bologna and the Serie A this should be an easy win come on now let's not mess things up there you go and Fekir scoring as well since we won Serie A last season we're gonna be simming most of the Serie A games this season it's all about the champions league boys oh transfer offer for mancini 46 million nah i don't even care now this game we are gonna play and it's gonna be a real good test to see how this squad gels roma versus napoli and they do have a good team well let's wear our home kits like least. what do i want to do for the team okay so i don't know why there's a bit of stamina issues game was a week ago that's a bit of a weird one well i guess i'll play douglas louise instead of millie savage then i still want to try out for k rudiger but we can't put in mancini that's why we signed him i still want to try out 
advantage. We'll keep that team. It's a different Roma side. Let's see how we compete against one of the best teams in Italy. And so, our Serie A title defense begins. Well, it did begin already against Bologna. We won that, but these are the games where we need to win to show that the squad is ready for the challenge. There's Rudiger's first touch. I'm so excited to have an absolute beast like him at the back to just protect our back line. Trust me, we've built a very balanced team. And I can already feel that we'll go far in the Champions League as Tammy Abraham has just broken through. What is that defense doing? And it's 1-0 up for Roma already. We won Serie A last season. And I don't think there's any team in this country that can stop us again. Sam's gone. Here's new signing Danny Carvajal. I'm really excited to see what he can do. He's won multiple Champions Leagues before. And that's going to really count for something. Okay, how is Gonzalez just beating us like that? And Chesney can't keep him out. Napoli aren't going down without a fight. They've just scored. It's 1-1. Good challenge from Mancini, that. And now Douglas Luiz is on it. The squad depth we've got this season. It's honestly a bit scary. Still Pellegrini. Looking inside. Nabil Fekir went for a nutmeg. Didn't work. Nabil Fekir. Smart ball for Tammy Abraham. And now it's Pellegrini. Good run. As he options. As he options. The best one is Tammy Abraham. Ah, but that's good defending again from Napoli. This wasn't as easy as I expected it to be. Oh, Rudiger, what a challenge that was from him as he looks for Madueke. Now looking for that ball for Tammy Abraham. He's got to score this. Oh, it's a solid finish. Tammy Abraham, brilliant. Roma 2, Napoli 1. He's going for that golden boot this season. We get the lead of this game. Oh, that's a lovely ball for Damsgaard. If he can bring it inside, which he can. Ball is inside. Oh, come on. They've got Jules Conde. I just realized Napoli. Bro, they've made some good investments. Oh, that is a lovely ball for Madueke. Can he get started for this season? Bro, what was that? What was that for a finish? Let's go. Looking inside for Osimhen. That is a massive save from Chesney. We've not seen him really step up and make these kind of saves. And slowly he's getting into rhythm back at Roma. Jules Conde, but Carvajal has pushed him back really well. That's solid defending from our new signing. Okay, what is happening? Isco just broke through our defense like that. Good save again, Chesney. Now we can see what Nabil Fekir is all about. Looks to bring it inside. Sees Damsgaard on the run. And it's looking decent. I see Madueke making a nice run into the box as well. We're going to find Tammy. That was the weirdest pass ever, but Douglas Luiz still has it. Looks back in for Nabil Fekir. Ball is at home. There you go. He gets his first goal in a Roma shirt. It's 3-1 against Napoli. Let's go. Honestly, we've built such an insane team. Serie A, we need to be breaking records or equaling the stuff that Juventus were doing back in their prime. Oh, look at Douglas Luiz there. How is that a foul? That looked like a proper tackle to me. Well, they can try scoring. Ginny Wijnaldum, former Roma player. Look at that. We just blocked that so easily. We can now officially say our Serie A title defense has begun and in style. Okay, so AC Milan, the only unbeaten team along with us. Okay, well, we'll take note. And the transfer window is approaching. I don't think any club has spent crazy like us. Although, look at, look at Atalanta. They've signed Correa and Smakaka. I don't know how to say his name. Bologna out here spending 46 million on like five different players. I want to see what the big boys have done. Fiorentina have signed Morata. Inter have signed the likes of Sarabia, Flaco Dimas, Muniain. Lazio have sold Milisavic to us. Immobile as well. They've had a bad window. AC Milan signed Jordi Alba and Yanezai. Okay. And Napoli went for Conde, Wijnaldum and Dalot. What about Juventus? Smith Rowe, Walker Peters. They're getting an English contingent. And of course, it's us who've just been crazy in this window. Spending 288 million. Selling players worth 272 just nuts but yeah our trans window is done i'm more than happy with this team yes it's gonna be a bit of a struggle coping without dibala but i think we saw some really good signs from nabil fakir so i'm excited we now have a Serie A game against sampadoria but after this champions league so i'm thinking let's rest up most of our squad give the likes of belotti a chance so we can play olise we can probably play matt pianic douglas louise cloyvert we'll still keep madueke cast up i not cast up chili we can play Mancini, Vigna, and I will keep Spinozola. So a few rotations. Actually, I should play Hugo Lloris in a game like this. And I still think our team is more than good enough to get the three points. There you go. Job done. Tammy Abraham and Justin Kluivert scoring. Three wins out of three in Serie A. And now, boys, it's time to see what our Champions League group is. Okay, let's start with Group A. Madrid, Leipzig, Marseille. Interesting group, but Madrid should go through. PSG, AC Milan, and Arsenal.
Arsenal. That is a tricky group. I can't call this one out, man. I think I think I'd bet PSG and Arsenal to go through. Barcelona, Leverkusen, Club Bruges, easy for Barca. We've got Chelsea, Napoli, Lille, interesting. Liverpool, Dortmund, always seem to be in the same group. We've got Man United, Betis, Ajax, and Celtic. That's an exciting one. Group G, Bayern, Inter, Shakhtar, Copenhagen. Okay, easy for Bayern. And then our group with Atletico Madrid, Sporting, and Salzburg. That's an interesting one. Atletico are going to be our primary competitors. Well, and guess what, boys? We're going to start off our Champions League campaign for the first time in this series against Atletico. Very excited for this, boys. First ever Champions League game. Last season, we were in the Europa League. We won that. But what can we do in the Champions League? This is going to be our first proper test to see how far we've come with this Roma team. That's my lineup. Let's get into it. I'm excited, man. We've built this Roma team with a lot of different players, a lot of signings, a lot of drama. And it comes down to this, the Champions League. This is what we're aiming to win. And I want to try and do that this season. So let's go for it. Dunia. Oh, that's a bad one. That is a bad one. Real Madrid could punish us. And the rebound works perfectly for them as Jao Felix scores and Atletico Madrid take the lead. That is not what I was expecting. We saw this against Manchester United in the Super Cup as well. Against the Champions League teams, it's completely different. Serie A, we're a different side, but once we start facing these big boys in Europe, we, we just, I don't know, get flustered or something. That needs to change. The worst thing now is this Atleti team is so freaking defensive that we're going to find it as a, a nightmare to just get through. Looking for Fekir now. Brilliant bit of dribbling as he looks to slide this one for Tammy Abraham who's got the strength to hold him up. Now looking for Fekir. I can't shoot with his right foot so I'm going wide. Can we do something here? Inside for Tammy Abraham. Bang! We get the goal. Tammy Abraham and Fekir linking up so well. We get the goal and the equaliser. It's 1-1. Bro, Nabil Fekir has legit hit the ground running, man. I mean, scored in his very first Serie A game. Assisted in our very first Champions League game ever. You'll love to see it. And here he is again. Such a hard worker, man. Tracked back to win the ball back. And now let's see what he can do. Nabil Fekir. The dribbling is on point. Still got the ball here. Still moving in and out. Nabil Fekir. He's on a brilliant run. Nabil Fekir deserved a goal there. We might still have a chance. Saved and blocked away. Nabil Fekir with a Messi-esque run there. That deserved a goal. Here we go with Tammy Abraham looking for Fekir. No, it's Pellegrini actually. He finds Madueke. Nope. He's got to score that. And all black with a solid save. Chao Felix is so tough to deal with, man. He's just made a joke out of Carval. But that pass was bad. And Rüdiger helps get it out of the way as we could maybe start a breakaway. Yeah, go on, Pellegrini. Looks like he's got the pace. Come on. This is looking like a proper chance now, Pellegrini. Early cross in. Proper chance. Oh, cleared away by Felipe. Oh, penalty. I think someone handled the ball. We just get the most random penalties ever because of the handball rule. Maybe I should turn it off, man, because let's see. Cross came in. Oh, it just hit his arm. That was such a silly one. For surprising reasons, it never happens to us. It always happens for us. And here we go. Chance for Dami Abram to put this one top bins. Let's score this one. No, 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 no. It came off the post and everything. We still couldn't score off the rebound. Oh, wait. Pellegrini might still have a chance. Shots taken. What a save from All Black. Oh. That was such a wasted opportunity. I guess it's karma as well. We didn't deserve that penalty. Okay, that is one hell of a ball for Madueke. He's done really well here. Stops it. Brings it back inside. The dribbling's on point. Looking for a ball for Tammy Abramo. Couldn't attack it. Uh-oh, this is not ideal. Cunha's just broken through on his own. And he smashes it in. Our defense gets exposed. <sighs> Atletico Madrid is showing us that, well, the Champions League, if we want to win it this season, it ain't going to be an easy task at all. Okay, Damscott has decided to take matters into his own hands. Literally gets nope. fouled. But All Black saves it, bro. What even is Jan All Black in this game? Pellegrini puts this one in. It's a decent ball. The header off the post. No, what a chance. He might still have a chance here, Rudiger. Can't dribble to save his life there. Oh, space has opened up for him. Space has really opened up for him. It's a good bit of dribbling here, but there's just no space. We're going to go for Damsgaard out on the other side. Marcus Llorente stops him in his tracks so easily. Tammy Abraham sliding this one through for Damsgaard. This is our chance. I'm going to cut this one back for Madueke. And it's a brilliant counter-attack from Roma. Madueke gets his Champions League goal as we get the equaliser against Atleti. That was a swift counter-attack. Let's go. Our two wingers combining. Wasi well, Madueke making another run. Could he get another one here? Controls it well, but I think he was offside. I see Tammy Abraham making the run. This could be a big moment. Tammy Abraham opens up his body. Jan Oblak is... 
literally insane. Rodrigo de Paul has just walked through this entire back line that we've got. He's actually fought through, I should say, not walked. But we do get the ball away. And this has really worked well for us. Stamsgaard running through like that. Madueke making the run in behind. Another same attack here. And Madueke scores again. It's literally the same move. Atletico just couldn't cope. Roma 3, Atletico Madrid 2, the comeback of dreams. And it's literally the same thing we've done. Finding Damsgaard in space, squaring it to, of course, Madueke, and it's worked wonderfully. This time, Madueke had to take a touch, but the finish was even better this time. Let's go, boys. 3-2. Uh-oh, Ja Felix, and come on! Referee, you had to blow the whistle. Oh, that is so anticlimactic. We literally just gifted Atleti away back. Ja Felix scores. It's 3-3. Looks like we're going to share the spoils with Atletico. One positive I will give you is that we were able to compete and beyond against one of the favorites for this competition. So let's go. So up next, we've got three very winnable Serie A games. Let's smash through them and see what happens. Did I say winnable because we go ahead and take an L against Sassuolo? Like even, what even? Surely we're not taking an L against Hellas Verona. Give me the dub here. Now we're talking. And we keep it up as we beat Torino as well. So two wins out of three, not bad. So with that in the Serie A, we're talking of the league it's only one game that we've lost and it looks like our competition that was ac milan they've fallen off the cliff we've got salzburg next in the champions league and since salzburg well i don't think they're, they're gonna be like the punching bags of this group we'll just sim this see i told you we get the job done against salzburg some more Serie A games we're going through unfortunately only a draw from this we're ending off the episode being top of the league and we'll continue our Serie A run next episode but what of course i'm more wor worried about is the champions League. By next episode, I think we'll smash out all the group stage games. And with Atleti in third place in this group, things could get very random. This was a bit of a crazy episode with all the signings we made. The ball are gone. We replaced them well. We're ready for the season. Let's just see how things go. If you're enjoying this Roma career mode, drop a like, subscribe. Catch you all for the next one. Peace.